how safe are your treadmills when you come to work out at gyms like this one and people normally to have a warm up of sorts do use treadmills and while doing so the touch often touch body uh, parts of the treadmill like this one and also if you are resting because remember there are many treadmills which has this panel and the rest of the body is open uh, for the users uh, uh, to use so right here in this particular model of the treadmill that you are seeing uh, as a precautionary measure there are our plastic parts on this particular panel uh, this is also you have a plastic covering out here if suppose if you are taking a rest out here after working out uh, because remember saksham like any other gym user was resting after his workout session so there's a possibility you might touch this part of the treadmill or this part of the treadmill if at all uh, so this is as a precautionary measure is also covered part and right here on the other side as well if uh, manish would be able to show you these parts uh, which connects which is the covering for the belt this also has a plastic coating in order to avoid electric current electric shock but what happened in saksham's case was that the other treadmill that he was using uh, it had the support panel here but rest of it was open and uh, as per the police investigation what happened was uh, it has been further established that the metal parts of the treadmill number 2 had electric current running through it so much so that the eye witness who rushed who had rushed to help saksham had also gotten electric shock while doing so and even the doctors have now confirmed to delhi police that saksham prithi died of electrocution and this happened because of deadly negligence on part of a gym owner you know what gym owners are now saying is that maintenance every 3 months of all appliances in the gym which uh, has electric supply through it must be done uh, as a precautionary measure as a sop and along with that uh, you know you must have individuals on the gym especially the trainers who at least know how to do cpr